Okay, Big Brother 310. I know I tried to post off the Q&A, but I have to do it now, and I have to do it for three or four reasons. Um, one, my inbox is getting bigger and bigger and bigger with the best YouTube shooter contest, and I, I need to clear out the Q&A questions. Second, there's some people I need to plug. And third, there's a person I'm going to plug again with a series that you have to see. I will not accept any, any TNA criticism. I will delete your video. I will not watch it unless I know that you have seen this guy's video. Because if you have not seen Killer King's three-part video on TNA, you guys don't know what the fuck you're saying. If you've seen that video, consulted his ideas... Then yes, I'll watch your TNA video. But if you make a TNA video and I know you haven't seen his video, I'm not going to watch it. Because you can't possibly know. You just can't. It was that good of a video. Let me guys, uh, let me guys give you a little background on the video. Um, I came up with this question that I sent to various people. If you do regular Q&As, I sent you a question. I sent one to A-Stone, even though he doesn't really do regular Q&As. I sent it to uh, Trademark. Well, I sent it to a sports figure account. Uh, trademark, I don't know if you still have it. I sent it to your sports figure account. You might still have it. I don't know. Um, and I sent it to Coffee Ninja B8. And I even sent it to True Slayer. I never sent True Slayer questions. The guy probably gets 100 questions a day. And he only puts like 20 in his Q&A. So he only puts 20 likes. I thought this one might have actually been good enough to make his Q&A. So I sent it to him. I said, what do you think of TNA? And then I said, I know it's a pretty generic question. But I feel that TNA will not change their ways because they're getting good ratings. Why are they so blind by the ratings? Who needs to be fired? Who needs to be hired to help that them out? And I said, you know what? Send this video to Killer King. He's the most knowledgeable TNA fan I know. Send it to him. And he made a three-part video on it. And wow, it was very, very, very good. I agree with you 100%. You should have a 30 minute time limit. If you made 30 minute videos, I would watch them all, no problem. I saw all three parts, they were all very, very good. I favorited one of them, I forgot to favorite the other two, because I, 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 just, I just wanted to get to the next part, I was so into it, I wanted to get to the next part. It was just a really good series, oh, you're a true TNA fan. And this is what I like, people have been saying, I've been saying it, but not as far back as he said, I've been saying TNA's been in the shitter since... November of 2007. Everyone else says mid-2008. This guy says late 2006. And he gives a reason why. He said it's not that it was a shitter. He said that it just progressively got worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And by the time 2007 started, it was he already realized TNA is not what I used to be. He said, he said ever since of November of 2005, 2005, he had this feeling when Christian Cage came to, to TNA, he said, uh-oh, that's going to be a problem because TNA is going to start bringing in WWE guys. And he watched TNA and he said that there's not really any TNA show after mid-2006 that he could recommend. And I thought about it and I kind of agreed with him. The only pay-per-view that I highly recommend for you to get out of after mid-2006 is Bound for Glory 2007. I did see, and he said, he said people are saying, oh yeah, the impacts in 2006 are very good. He's right. You guys don't know what you're talking about if you haven't seen the weekly pay-per-views. I was fortunate enough. I watched TNA for about a month and a half, maybe a little more, around two months, uh, in 2004. And I saw Jeff Jarrett. I saw this too with uh, Jeff Hardy. I saw Sanjay Dodd. He was like, really the first exhibition wrestler I got into. And those were really good shows. But I, I couldn't pay $10 for a show. I mean, I was paying, at that point for WWE, 40 bucks for per pay-per-view. And... $10 for a show, it seemed like too much, and I don't like borrowing money, I, I just had to drop it, and in 2006, around May, June, May-ish, June-ish, I started watching, the first DVD I got was Lockdown, and that rekindled my love for TNA, and I love TNA very much, and he's right, they were very good, maybe because they had pay-per-views every month, and I could watch the sh and I and I never did watch the pay per views. Like I said, the first pay per view of TNA I bought was Bound for Glory 2006, and I only got to see three matches. And that, and then I bought Final Resolution 2007, which sucked. Hard Justice 2007, which sucked. Lockdown 2008, which sucked. I have the worst luck at picking TNA pay per views. Lockdown 2009, in my opinion, I rarely order TNA pay per views, and that's why 
I, every time I pick it, it's always the bad one. And um, really, you have to check this video out. It's a three-part series. I'm also going to plug uh, Map Beast 14, 19. Makes very good videos. Spinner Red, obviously. ROH Styles, obviously. And Spiderweb WB. He's very charismatic in his videos, which I like. Links to the side. Check them all out. Killer King, I'm going to put the link to all three of his videos. And seriously, subscribe to the guy if you haven't already. He deserves to be a partner. He really does. He really does. Okay, quickly let's get to the Q&A. Don't worry, I only have eight questions. Like I said, it's going to be short. I just want to completely deplete my inbox of all the Q&A questions. Steve Nash 1396 says, when do you see Stephanie coming back? Uh, she's not really injured, is she? I, I could have sworn I saw her. Oh, shit, that's right, the DDT and the kiss. Um, and do you think any McMahon's will turn on Triple H? I said it should be uh, it should be Shane. Because for Stephanie, I've said this so many times, they spent 10 years hiding the secret. They spent so much time hiding the secret. So what are you going to do? You're just going to hide it again? No, come on. Please, don't do that. It should be Shane. He makes the most logical sense. I do see Stephanie coming back, like, maybe even at Backlash. But then I can see Shane, like, you know, turning on them there. But I, I just don't want him to because, like I said, if they wanted to make Orange Champion, they should have done it at Mania. Why are you going to do it at Backlash? Bradley Loves Peanuts says... Who is your favorite football team? I have several. Um, one of my favorite is uh, I like Dolphins very much. I am a big fan of the Panthers, the Dolphins, the Panthers. Those are usually like, those are like my two top two. I like the Saints, not as much as I used to though. I used to love them. Now I'm like I like them. Yeah, I think Dolphins and Panthers are probably my two favorite teams. More so the Dolphins, maybe just a little more of the Dolphins. Um, Teddy Boy Smith two says, "What are your opinions on Disney producing movies?" I haven't seen 12 rounds yet. I heard it wasn't that bad. I heard it was actually moderately good. I liked the Marine, but uh, my dad and my brother didn't because they were expecting John Cena to literally do like FUs and all that stuff, and John Cena didn't do it. And I told him, Dad, you can't you can't treat it like a wrestling movie. You got to treat it like an action movie. I never expected Cena to give the guys FUs, and they were a little disappointed. What do you think their approach to movies should be? I like the action flicks. Honestly, they go another way. They're going to fail. What are your thoughts on Natalia being on ECW? Look like she'll have no part of the legacy and losing to Hornswoggle. I thought she was on ECW already. I didn't when she got drafted. It was just like one of those things. She, she never appeared on SmackDown for for a while. I don't care. I'd rather her stay with Tyson Kidd and form the New Heart Foundation with DH Smith, who is on ECW, rather than forming a legacy. Easily, who will be the biggest star in the long term? Kofi MVP or CM Punk? I say CM Punk just because while well, MVP is very good in the mic, and Kofi is Kofi now not really. CM Punk it looks he just looks like the next guy. He's already he's already a Triple Crown champion. World Heavyweight title, may have won Money in the Bank twice. It just really looks like they want CM Punk to be the next guy, like the next John Cena. I could see CM Punk being the next John Cena. Um, I just see. I know he doesn't really have like the look like John Cena did, but it's just the way they're pushing right now. Do you think Eric Bischoff or Paul Heyman can bear for TNA as launching characters? Definitely, especially Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman would be perfect for TNA. I wish he would be a behind the scene character, but put him on screen. I don't know. Do something, with Paul Heyman. Is could be huge for TNA. People call Paul Heyman the best booker ever, which maybe I don't know yet. Vince McMahon can book pretty well in the '90s. Jim Cornette booked very well for uh, Smoky Mountain. Um, there's been some several, several, several great bookers. Um, um, let me see. no, I'm not really gonna say. I'm not gonna say uh, Jim Crockett. But there have been some several great bookers. People say Paul Heyman is probably the best booker of all time. He need Danny fucking needs Paul Heyman. Let me tell you right now. Bischoff, uh, Bischoff, no. I don't think Bischoff, I think Bischoff will do with TNA what he did with WCW. Create a monster idea and base it on that. Because I just don't think he learned his lesson. Uh, WB Bra says, what's your favorite wrestling submissions, aerial moves, combos, and finishing moves? Come on, you're really going to ask me that? That'll take me forever. But aerial moves, um... I don't know. I like Evan Bourne's two knees to the next. Though. That's pretty cool. Combos. I like uh, Rhett Titus and Kenny King's power bomb slash Kenny King's turnover head, whatever it's called. Submissions. Um, I felt the figure four leg lock. I thought it did shit, and then I uh, like I choreographed it with one of my brothers to put it on me to see if it actually hurts, and it did. I felt like nerve pains in my legs for two days. It really does hurt. Like it. It looks like. Crap, but like if you squeeze it right, it hurts like hell. My legs were like dead for two days. But I don't know if that's my favorite.
probably either the Anaconda Vice. I missed that move so much because just because it was the inverted rock bottom, and I love the rock bottom, or the cross face. The cross face was also my favorite. And uh, combos, finishing moves, finishing moves. Uh, you guys know I love the gold standard. I just like how it's quick and out of nowhere. The shock value, and that's what I want in wrestling. Oh, uh, Volgras says, who would you like to see main event next year's WrestleMania? Um, I want to say, I'm praying for Shelton Benjamin, although I don't see it can happen. Um, I want to see someone new. Don't put Cena and Triple H in there. Don't put Taker in there. Um, hmm, good question. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to say, I hope it's Sheldon, even though I think it's not going to be. Please, just put someone new there. I don't care who it is, just put someone new. Someone... Sheldon might, won't main event WrestleMania because he's not that advanced yet. I'm just saying he's one of the guys I thought should have been over by now. Um, CM Punk is probably the most likely guy out of the younger talent. Or Christian. I would love to see Christian main event Mania. Big Red 310. Peace.